it's John, and I'm walking the old medieval pilgrimage route from Paris to Bordeaux. This is day five when I visited the Chateau of Rambouillet. Here's Rambouillet on my route, and it has a magnificent chateau. There were beautiful rooms, lovely views out the window at the water features, and a surprise for a Canadian visitor that knew what he was looking at. This room caught me by surprise. It was the dining service for a famous summit meeting that took place here almost 50 years ago. In 1975, the French president brought together the leaders of the six most important industrial democracies for a meeting around this table. This was the first meeting of the G6 that brought together the United States, Japan, and four leading European countries. Now, I am a retired Canadian diplomat, so I couldn't help noticing that this was a meeting of the G6, not the G7. Canada was not invited. Naturally, this hurt a little bit. Canada didn't attend these meetings till the subsequent year. Still, I was glad to see that there were Canada geese on the grounds of the chateau. So, maybe the host felt guilty. I was on my way to the next town, Epernon, after the tour, and it was a beautiful walk along the canal beside the chateau. But there was more to see on the grounds. This, I learned, was the Leiterie, or dairy, and it was built in the dying days of the French monarchy for Marie Antoinette by her husband, Louis XVI. It's hard to know what this really is, but it was an expression of Louis XVI's love for his wife. And, of course, the two of them were doomed when the revolution came. Leaving Marie Antoinette behind, I once again entered the forest of the chateau heading west. And once again, it wasn't easy staying on the right path. But I made it to my destination. Up next, day six, walking into shot. And this walk was everything and more that I hoped it would be. <laughs> <laughs>